they're getting in the faces of the uh, Bristol City midfield. It's, it's a high tempo game already. Just wonder how long Exeter are going to be able to keep this up for the rest of the game. That's it, a lot of energy coming from both sides at the moment. A lot of quick passes, round the corner passes, a lot of chasing of the ball from both sides. Bristol City seem to have calmed down though and managed to get control of the game so far. Bristol City's ball is long, Harry Lee looks to claim, doesn't claim, and there's a foul somewhere, and it's a penalty, I think, yes, yeah, a penalty's penalty has been given, I don't quite know what for, it's a quite an obstructed view on our end there, Jed, did you see anything? Yeah, so Harry Lee came out, he, he claimed for it, but there was just a lack of communication in the Exeter City back line, and, uh, well, basically the strike, they got there first, got there first, tried to round Harry Lee, and just got put, brought down, and... That was a great opportunity for Bristol City to uh, take the lead. It looks like it's going to be Naki Wells, former Burnley and Bradford man. Scored several goals in that famous playoff final win for Bradford, what seems like many moons ago, but he steps up, smashes it straight down the bottom right, and Bristol City take the lead here. It's Exeter City nil, Bristol City won. There seems to be a little bit of frustration from the Robins at the moment. I, don't, I think they realise that Exeter are playing a little bit better than them. In the last 10 minutes, I think it's important for the championship side just to rely on their, rely on their quality to uh, just see them through this patch of the pay where Exeter are getting on the ball a lot more and they're um, starting to create chances as well. Yeah. It's, it's clear to see that the, the couple of the younger players in this Bristol City side are starting to get a bit frustrated with the passes, but Naki Oz is through here. And it's a late challenge by Ellis Johnson. It's a second penalty for Bristol City, I think. He's always stretching and lunging for that one, and especially with a player of quality like Naki Wells and the pace of Naki Wells, to get that ball would have been a, I think, world-class challenge, and it's another penalty for Bristol City. It was good work from Naki Wells to get himself, his body, on the uh, right side of the ball and just draw the challenge, and again, it's, it's, it's mistakes from Exeter that are proving costly at the moment, and it's something that Bristol City themselves aren't doing when they are making mistakes, so... Good chance for Harry Lee again. Yeah, Tyreek back in to take this one. And it's the most frustrating thing is that it's come at an a time where City have got the most possession and Tyreek back in slots that one ever so comfortably into the bottom right hand corner and it's Exeter City one, nil, Bristol City okay, two. Two penalties to the Robins. Nevertheless, Bristol City corner to come in. Taken by Joe Williams, direct this time, not short, looking for Backinson, Backinson can't win the header, it falls to Nash on the edge of the area, great strike and it's a great finish by Nash to make it 3-0 to Bristol City, the Hungarian international, ball fell to on the edge of the area and just took a touch out of his feet, straight into that top left hand corner and ultimately Bristol City showing a bit of class there. Oh it was a wonderful goal, absolutely wonderful strike from, X, uh, from Nagy there. Corner to Bristol City to be taken by... 36, Alex Scott, and the ball's whipped in, and Callas wins the header, and he's given the goal. Off Naki Wells in the end, the ball was well won in the air by Callas again, showing his aerial presence like he has done all afternoon, and the ball falls to Naki Wells, and it just seems to hit it more than a shot, and Harry Lee can't quite keep it out. There's claims from Harry Lee that it didn't go over the line, but it, it, the liner has given it, and it's another goal for Bristol City here.